Hi everybody. Uh, we're gonna talk about King Henry the Eighth in this video. I'm waiting for the little screen to load, but uh, yeah, there we go. So King Henry the Eighth. That is the guy we're talking about today. Um, he is the king of England at the time. Uh, you're gonna learn some crazy facts about him. He's not the nice nice guys. Uh, that we've ever learned about, that's for sure. So, King Henry the Eighth. My internet connection out here is like spotty. I'm like six feet from my back door, but the internet just throws a fit. There we go. Uh, of course. All right. So, uh, King Henry the Eighth. He was married and really, really wanted a son, uh, but his wife didn't have one, so he wanted a divorce. So his first wife. Son, so he could have someone to be the next king of England, but his first wife only had daughters. And because she didn't have a son, he's like, I want to divorce you. You haven't given me a boy, child. Well, I'm done with you. The church said no. It's not a good reason to get divorced. They didn't believe in divorce. So he made his own church called the Anglican Church. He, uh, says first wife, he wants a divorce from because she simply didn't have a son. But it gets worse. Whenever this loads. So, in a uh, separate split from the Catholic Church, so the Church of England split from the Roman Catholic Church. So, we have the Roman Catholic Church here. We have Martin Luther's group over here splitting off. And then over here, we have King Henry and the Church of England over here splitting off. And then you learned before that there's the Lutheran Church, there's uh, John Calvin splitting off. So the Roman Catholic Church went from this big to about this big because everybody just broke broke apart. So uh, King Henry VIII wanted to divorce his wife because she did not produce a male heir for him. But the Catholic Church would not let him. He decided to split from the Roman Catholic and create his own church, the Church of England, which would allow him to get, he literally was like, I'm leaving this this religion, this church, I'm going to make my own just so I can divorce my first wife because she didn't have a son. Okay, King Henry VIII. But that's not all. So on uh, this website, you'll find a PDF. This PDF is a timeline of King Henry VIII's life. So England's King Henry VIII wanted a male heir. His first wife gave birth to a daughter. But after that, she had no more children. Henry wanted to marry another woman who could give him a son. Church did not allow the divorce, and the Pope refused to end Henry's marriage. So Henry ended the Pope's power in England and began the Anglican Church. He used, uh, used his timeline to answer the following questions. So 1509, King Henry VIII becomes the King of England. In 1516, his first wife, Catherine, gives birth to a baby girl, Mary. Catherine has no more children. Henry really wants a son. He wants a king. You can see my neighbor in the background. <laughs> He's weird. Uh, and then in 1527, Henry asked the Pope to end his marriage, and the Pope refuses. So he's married a good 11 years here. 1529, he ends the Pope's power in England and begins the Anglican Church. He, so he makes his own. 1533, so four years later, Henry marries Anne Boleyn, who gives birth to another girl, Elizabeth. Henry drew really mad. So in 1536, three years later, he has his wife beheaded. So this is wife number two, beheaded. 1537, Henry's third wife finally has a son, Edward, but then his wife dies. So that's wife number three. First wife, divorced. Second wife, beheaded. Third wife, died. In 1540 to 1544, Henry divorces his fourth wife and beheads his fifth wife. In 1547, Henry dies. His, his sixth wife outlives him. Uh, his fourth wife here, he was married to for two days. Two days. He didn't meet her before he married her. So they had like a... They first met each other at their wedding. And he thought she looked like a horse. And divorced her. Because of it. So King Henry VIII went through six wives because no son, no son, who's beheaded, divorces, divorces look like a horse, beheads, and then outlives him. So there's going to be three questions on the form for you. That's it for this video.